Hi guys. What's up guys? Your favorite mistake, the Siren Sims, and welcome back to my Chanel. Alright, so I didn't even know how I want to do this video. I'm scared. <laughs> but I figured I would start it off with the create a sim only because I just wanted to like get into what my challenge is, what is going to be happening, and then in the next video you are going to be seeing the little bit of little bitty update of what I did to her place and we're just gonna start it off there that way you only get two videos instead of like three or four or one giant long video unless you guys like long videos but anyways yes this is the do 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 bikini bottom legacy i'm ready i'm ready okay um making this character who will be our matriarch the start of our legacy the founder sparrow billy jean now let me just explain to you guys um how i came across this idea so i was on tumblr um i was making a challenge with a tumblr friend of mine um frosted shore um it wasn't really going well because I'd never made a challenge before. So I was just kind of like, I didn't know what to do. Like I have ideas, but I didn't know how to structure it. And Frosted was busy and, you know, she would come in and out of being interested in doing it and not being interested. You know, we all have scattered brain moments like, oh, I want to do this. And then you're like, mm, I kind of don't. So I was just like, you know what? I wonder if I could do this by myself could I make one by myself and I was like no way that's too much work it's better to do it with a partner I'll wait until I do more research on it and then we're both in the in a good mood to do it but I was like you know what I have this really good idea and I low-key don't be mad at me I low-key didn't want to share it with anybody I was like you know I just want to do this by myself like I want to say that I made this like I don't really want to like give anybody the credit on this um i'm not the type who would ever make cc that's a lot i'm i may make facial presets like a, a set of it one day let me know if you guys want that but um i'm not have to make cc at the time so i'm like what do i have to give the sims 3 community um that would be similar enough to get them interested but different enough to be like yeah this is definitely an idea i would have had so i was like let me do a challenge let me do a legacy let me type it out and i was like you know what when i thought about it um it was around the time where i was working from home and i had this notebook and i was writing ideas down every day every day like 10 different ideas would come and i would jot them down now that i'm at work i can't do that anymore but the good thing about that time is that i have a lot of ideas just sitting there and so if I'm ever like, what should I do? I can literally look there and just scroll through and see what am I in the mood for today? But I was thought to myself, now, okay, challenge ideas. What do I want to do? Thought to myself, hmm, bikini bottom characters. And the way that all of them have been categorized, I thought to myself, that would be a great idea for a challenge. Like make a challenge based off SpongeBob characters. Now, I know you're like, what? It's supposed to be wacky. Now, with this particular challenge, it can be wacky. It can be. Um, but it can also be serious. I'm playing it in a slightly more serious way. Um, I have friends like Tokyo who, you know, she might just make some transmorgified people that kind of look like um, bikini bottomites. I don't necessarily plan to make them to make fish looking people like that, but I wanted their traits, their characteristics, their behaviors to come through. I thought it would be really cool if I was able to like make the main characters different generations. So just to go down and speak about it a little bit, this is the Bikini Bottom Legacy. If you are on um, Tumblr, just tag me at the Siren Sims or do hashtag Bikini Bottom Legacy so I can see it. All right. Now, without further ado, I just want to talk about the challenge a little bit more. So it's story based. What does that mean? It means that you have the option to follow a storyline. Um, it's going to help it. It's going to help the AI of The Sims 3 give you more to work with, give you a little bit of drama, a little bit of spice. Now, a lot of people are cozy, but, you know, people want cozy food with spice in it. So, for example, SpongeBob. The Spongebob Legacy, I will read it off on the first episode, but just to go overboard. 
Sparrow will have SpongeBob's tendencies and she will have his likeness in terms of having blue eyes, having freckles, having bunny teeth. Um, bunny teeth just to simulate the two front teeth. But it's, it's a cuter version because I don't really want to just make like a long nosed, square headed person. Like, I don't really, I don't have time for that. But I know a lot of people are going to do it, you know, to make jokes and to just have fun with their game. And I'm completely okay with that. That's just not what I'm going to do in my game. Um, you have certain traits you need to pick up. Obviously, stuff like natural cook, being childish, being a cat person. Because we know that Gary in the cartoon is technically a water cat. You know, they, they could have made him have a catfish. I don't know why the creators decided to have snails be cats and worms be dogs. It's weird, but you know, it's a weird cartoon. So how it is a storyline is that you will have SpongeBob act like SpongeBob. For example, there will be a challenge where every time a friend invites you out, you have to go. <laughs> I am very excited for how annoying that's going to be. Now, you don't have to stay in the outing the whole time, but you know the way The Sims 3 works. You're going to lose two to three hours of your day walking outside, going outside to go with, with whatever friend has, you know, tried to entrap you. It's a friendship. And you need to have, all right, you need to have a decent amount of friends, at least two. Because if you don't have any, then nobody not going to call you. So you need to have at least two best friends. Um, obviously, you can pick people who have similar traits to you. That way you could simulate the Patrick Star, um, SpongeBob relationship. And maybe even a friend that doesn't really like you that much. So you can simulate the SpongeBob Squidward relationship. But, you know, obviously you're going to be a chef. I would prefer you work at a diner. But if the world that you're playing in does not have a diner you can work at the bistro it's fine um then you're supposed to adopt a kid that's how you lead to the patrick star legacy all right um, obviously this legacy sorry this gen will be more laid back more party hardy um i feel like for this specific one i would have wanted to add more university traits but i didn't i don't know why i didn't do it but yeah, it's the Patrick Star trade. They had a pretty easy life, laissez faire, laissez faire. Then you go down into the Squidward Tentacles gen. You had a parent that was super neglectful, but kind of was always there for you. Made you hate people, made you hate the world. You had an accident as a kid. It's how you got a longer nose. You know, I actually thought about all that stuff. How to make them correlate to their characters. How to make a Patrick type have a squidward type and have him still act like squidward so all of the story fits together um by the time this video comes out the challenge should be out so you guys should be able to play it um i'm gonna have a lot of fun with this challenge i hope you guys enjoy it but let's just get into my sim really quickly so obviously i made her hair sort of a yellowish color dang there strawberry blonde with brown tips i just thought it was cute she has freckles she has the bunny or buck teeth um using teeth cc not sliders well i use sliders but i didn't use sliders to simulate book teeth you can all right now you guys can do whatever you want under the confines okay i want you guys to give the sim blonde hair can be male or female does not matter you give the sim blonde hair and blue eyes it doesn't matter what race yes there are black people with blonde hair and blue eyes solomon islands but that's not really what we're talking about here so i wanted them to have like a uniform for the everyday fit you saw it in the thumbnail it's given oh, i'm ready oh, i'm ready and i was very happy with that um you do red white khaki brown for the coloring right so in case you can't necessarily find a full uniform with a tie just keep the coloring similar and keep the outfit sort of like slightly militant like ooh, like put her in like everyday office wear you know like casual office wear or something that's like red white and khaki brown you know so keep that in mind um the sims name should start with a sv or sp so if you want to call him svetlana svenanko um spain or you can have a variant of Bob or Bobby, Bobby J, Bobby Lee, Bobby Anna. 
uh, Robert. Uh, you know, just assimilate that this person has more ties to the SpongeBob moniker. Um, so as I was making Sparrow, I had a lot of fun. I was looking up SP names and I forgot that they had a name like Sparrow. I thought I was going to have to do something exotic like Svetlana or something. But I really enjoyed making her. She was so cute. She was so fun. I was like, ah, this is so cute. <laughs> um, and um, it was pretty easy to make her, honestly. I didn't really hook and book too much about it. But yeah, she's beautiful. I... I'm going to be playing her in Monte Vista. And you guys will be seeing that episode. So this episode is coming out Saturday. You're going to be seeing the episode in Monte Vista the following Monday. And for those of you who are saying, what about Unfinished Business? That's what I'm here for. Unfinished Business will be coming the following Friday. I'm feeding y'all. Y'all will get fed. Okay. Um, more about Sparrow to be specific. I actually have a mod in where I can add more traits. Now, when you use this mod, because I know somebody's going to take the mod and act like they don't know how to use it, please read the instructions very carefully. Even I didn't know what I was doing when I did this and I had to read the instructions again. You have to add traits outside of Creative Save using NROS. So you need NROS with this mod for it to work out for you. Because when you're in Creative Sim making the sim, you can only add the base five traits. And what I have done to make it easier for you in case you're like i don't really want to use mods i only use cc i got you i've added addendums to most of the generations i'll update any that i haven't added an addendum to that you can just choose five traits and i always give you two to three traits that are required so for example for this generation natural cook and childish are required so you can decide whether or not you have space to put uh, excitable or easily impressed uh, good workaholic neat lucky cat person you can decide which of those you have space for but you have to do natural cook and childish because that's just Spongebob Spongebob is a natural chef who's childish AS so you know you have to have those and I, I would say you have to have cat person kind of because you really want that special relationship with your Gary but I am also saying that if you don't feel like that's important to your gameplay or feel like you can have a relationship with the cat which is required without that trait and you want to make it different at something else fine okay um just to speak about what i'm going to be doing in terms of the traits and personality favorite food is burgers for very obvious reasons that's why i wanted to work in a diner i want them to be like great at like barbecues and whole cookies not necessarily michelin five star five high dining society type stuff you know which is why even though the recommended town is any european world or monte vista you can technically just do sunset valley or any old world that you feel like doing it in don't you don't have to do my recommended town unless you're doing very specific generations like squidward's generation and patrick's generation and larry's generation um those three specifically um they're oh and mr crab's generation and pearls okay spongebob is the only one that doesn't really matter really five of other them matters because some are in city worlds because they have they have city behavior and others are in beach worlds because they're more party behavior so keep that in mind you don't have to use uh custom content worlds you can just use ea worlds because ea has beach worlds and ea also has i think about one real city world so just keep that in mind now also favorite music will be island life so for the first generation you at least need um, world adventures island paradise and pets installed okay you at least need these three if you're one of those people that plays with almost everything on all the time then don't listen to me but if you're one of those people that you don't want your game to lag because adding a lot um, in terms of the expansion packs can cause lag if you only want to add what's needed please start with these three okay that is the pets expansion pack world adventures and island paradise now i know you're thinking why do we need world adventures we need it for the martial arts career because that will be involved in this gen 
All right. In terms of zodiac sign, I did Sagittarius. I actually did a little bit of research for this, but that was last year. So I don't remember. But obviously, I felt that Sag would fit best for a character like SpongeBob. So that's what I picked. Okay. Um, obviously, when you're pitching the voice, make it high, whether it's a man or a woman. You don't have to make it super high if it's a man. But, you know, get into it. If it's a girl, you know, make it hot. Um, I also made a, a little bit of a mistake when I was doing the house. So I might just bring it up now because I don't really want to get into too much fluff when the first episode comes out. But I was like, I was building the house and I realized I'm like, this is pretty big. Like it didn't seem big at first, but then when the roof came on, I was like, this is a big place. I mind you. Um, it's big, but there's not a lot inside of it. So it's technically still a starter home. But I felt weird about it because I was just like, it it has the starter home price, but it looks too big. So I'm just going to keep working on it as we play the gen on and off and then have uh, SpongeBob move into the place um, after he um, gets a kid. So that's what I'm going to do with that. But yay um i've gotten way better at making sims because arrow sparrow over here looks gorgeous it actually the one thing that was difficult was the lips like it took me a minute to find the right lip gloss lipstick to fit this particular character um but it was great and honestly it really didn't take that long to make her i don't even understand why um I take an hour to make girl sims every time. It's crazy. Um, but it was fun. Now, technically, that's all I have to say. Um, I'm not going to get too in-depth until the first episode where we just get in-depth about the first gen just so you guys can see what's going on. But yes, please go down below. Let me know if you're going to play this, if you even care. Um, also, if there's anybody out there who knows exactly how to make this thing base game or with less expansion packs i'm open to that um i always enjoy like custom content worlds that don't require a lot of packs and challenges that don't require a lot of packs because i know how difficult it is for people and i appreciate people who think about other people the that way um i was it was my first challenge so unfortunately i would have had to have neutered the idea um you know to do that but it is whatever uh and joyce Faro, isn't she beautiful <laughs> um obviously there will be the little showcase at the end and you'll also see the showcase again in the first episode as i talk about what's going to be happening you'll be seeing her little outfits um there as well just to ask y'all do you think i should add seasons into this because i feel like that would be pretty fun but I didn't add season. So please put down below. I'll also put it in a poll whether or not I should add seasons. Just let me know. Um, in any case, usually I'd be like, listen to the aesthetic music. But I really don't know how much more time we have now. Uh, enjoy what you see. <laughs> in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. And goodbye, my sires. Susu. -soo.